This is the SF Productions Podcast Network. Good evening and welcome to another exciting episode of Vast Wasteland. Everything's 3D Hollywood today. I remember back when I was, I was your age, we used to use the old TV set, no satellite hookups or anything, just took our signals out of the air. But wasn't that dangerous? Well, that was, of course, uh, before the uh, Surgeon General found a link between uh, TV signals and cancer. That was before your time. Remember some old 2D shows, though? Uh, some were even in black and white. Wow! Of course, that was uh, before President Turner put that enforced colorization law through in the 20s. Those shows must have been really boring. They weren't even interactive. Uh, don't be so sure about that. There were some great shows back then. Oh, wait a minute. I mean, look at this. Mm. Ooh, what? what's that? Oh, it's called a VCR. <laughs> Uh, see, back before all the video was put directly into computer memory in the comm net, people used to tape shows. Let me see. Uh, oh, there's, there's a tape already in here. Let me, let me hook this up here. Let me see what we got. Uh, oh, ooh, oh, damn radiation. <laughs> Come back with us to the 60s and 70s, the dwelling place of the lost generation. An era whose heroes, role models, and very lives were molded informed by weekly installments of favorite television programs. Welcome to the place your parents didn't understand. Welcome to the vast wasteland. Welcome, Welcome home. home. Welcome to another exciting episode of Vast Wasteland. I'm your host, Mark Schmidbar, along with Wilbur Neal and Marty Wiley, and we're here to talk about 60s and 70s television. And tonight, it's yet another cartoon show. Yes, it's going to be our Warner Brothers cartoon show, as, as, as if you couldn't have already guessed. <laughs> uh, talk about all the one, fine and the wine and wonderful, the, wine, the fine and wonderful. Uh, fine and wonderful. Well, that's right. <laughs> shows on the... Uh, uh, that uh, we grew up on Saturday mornings with. Well, uh, before we jump into that, just want to tell you our schedule is Tuesdays at 6, Wednesdays at 10, and Thursdays at 3 p.m. here on ACTV Cable 21. Also, our address, if you want to write to us, and, and boy, it's just been rolling in that mail. Uh, box 15, 15, <laughs> box 15, 15, 26, Columbus, Ohio, 43215. And now on to... Warner Brothers cartoons. Go, Wilbert. Well, it. by golly, those Warner Brothers cartoons, I could remember waking up early Saturday morning and turning on the TV and there'd be Captain Kangaroo. But after that, we could see Bugs Bunny and Porky Pig and Daffy Duck and Coyote and Wile E. Coyote and a Road Runner yeah. and Foghorn Leghorn, Speedy Gonzales and <laughs> Sylvester and Tweety and I'm losing my dental work. <laughs> Ow! That's Ew. painful. Okay. Ouch. But um, all those guys, by golly, they they were just out there and you could just see them all the time. Of course, the ones that we saw were remakes of the ones that they had done that they had had in the in the movie theaters. Right. Mm -hmm. And this is and now they're probably showing like a re remake. Of those, even. <laughs> but we won't get into that yet because it's the ones that we saw that we're going to really be concentrating That's on. They, right. We think these were probably the better ones. Although the ones in the theater were good, they, they went through some character reformations and changes and things there. 
They look less like the animals and more like um, personifications of animals, I guess. Well, there was no real uh, continuity then. You know, I mean, it, it was just whoever, you know, just Warner Brothers was nobody at the time, so they just basically pulled whoever they wanted to off the streets. So, I mean, for all intents and purposes. Hey, uh, you, you. Yeah. Can, can you, you draw a cartoon? Yeah. You know, see those things like in the, like in the you know, magazines with the, with the next <laughs> Draw a winky. Can you draw a winky? <laughs> that's, that's basically how they got uh, the, these, uh, these artists uh, back then. So, um, uh, it wasn't until they became an established studio that you really started to see every cartoon they looked exactly the same okay. and sounded exactly the same. I'm looking at this uh, key crew behind Bel Bugs Bunny, for instance, we got Mel Blanc on The Voice, uh, Tex Avery, Bob Clampett, Bob Clampett who went on to do Beanie and Cecil. That's right. Chuck Jones who just went on to do just about every cartoon right. that's about on. Now. <laughs> um, Fritz Freelig, uh, Warren Foster, Rich Hogan, Michael Maltese, and Ted Pierce uh, were the writers. They actually had writers for this. Yeah. Guy. But, um... If just, I was an Oscar-winning rabbit, I know I would have my own writers. Yes, indeed, indeed. But we just got a, a stellar crew of... That's right. ...cartooning and animation kind of people that went on to do other things in the field, and it's just incredible. Um, Bugs is probably the the best known of the um, characters. I, I'm going out on a limb here, but I'll say no, that. I, 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 you're is, not really going out on a limb. I'd okay. say that's pretty. He's probably the best known the uh, with his um yeah what's up doc you yeah, know I mean, the whole thing there and being just a, a general smart aleck, uh, <laughs> but <laughs> getting much. away with it. Yeah. Know? Of course, there are some times when somebody will come back and really slam bug a, Bugs a good one, but he usually comes back with something else after that. So. And the big thing you always notice about Bugs is he never attacked first. This is true. He, Bugs, always, he was always defensive moves. He was always. always the retaliator. That's right. This means war. <laughs> You I mean, know, of course, that this means war. <laughs> of course, of course, by shoving bugs into the limelight as they did, um, they did set up a poor tragedy that happened to Daffy Duck, who started out Second Daffy. Banana. He started out Daffy. He used to be Looney Tooney. Looney, that's right. <laughs> and then he grew bitter, <laughs> bitter and twisted. That's and right. Bitchy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's, there's no question. It was sad. He suddenly um, became a uh, bitter, twisted duck. Banana. Bitter, twisted yes. duck. <laughs> but, but you notice the, the difference between, say, a Bugs Bunny and a Woody Woodpecker, for example. Um, basically, the same, the same basic setups for yeah. all intents and purposes, but Woody Woodpecker would usually initiate. <laughs> that's, the, that's the big difference. And that's, and that's why I think Woody Woodpecker was never as successful, because people were like, why are you picking on that person? Well, Bugs was always like, you know, I'm minding my own business. Somebody attacks me, Usually I'm going to, I'm going to, yeah. yeah. Bud, you know, you're. Bud, Daffy. Daffy. You know. Yeah. Well, I like the one where it's rabbit season. No, it's duck season. Duck season. No, it's uh, rabbit season. There's several season. of those. <laughs> rabbit season. Duck season. Rabbit season. Duck season. <laughs> duck season. <laughs> rabbit season. <laughs> Which of course. Oh, I say that's <laughs> more. <laughs> oh, I say it's duck season, <laughs> and I say fire. <laughs> <laughs> Which, of course, just probably contributed more to the Your twisted personality that Daffy became. Oh, yeah. No question. <laughs> Poor guy. It's sad. <laughs> and how many times How many times did Bugs go around in drag, you know, to attract somebody or and something? Hey, hey, the funny thing was, old Fudd would fall for him. Every, Every time. single time. Like, Every time. I'm like, too bad. Let's get her. <laughs> <laughs> how dumb can this guy be? It's like Bugs had how some, some silicone be. somewhere stored down in the rabbit hole along right. with everything else, and he'd just <laughs> come up with these big old <laughs> puffed up. <laughs> well, see, there's, puffed there's, up, there's so one cartoon that... There's one cartoon that kind of that kind of um, uh, rationalizes why Elmer is such uh, does this every time, and it's the one where they uh, are uh, in uh, they find themselves in front of an audience somehow in a vaudeville audience, and they realize it's a big hit, and so and so Elmer lets himself be taken in as part of the act. And this is like the only time they rationalize it. They just don't say, Elmer's a complete idiot every other time. This is the only time they're saying, Elmer's a big, ball-headed nerd. He yeah. could get a woman if he had to. <laughs> Come on, that's rational. Yeah, but how many... So, of course, when he sees many, one, he thinks he's coming on to it. It doesn't other, matter if it's a rabbit. <laughs> how many other humans are actually in the Warner Brothers universe? You know, I mean... <laughs> there are Hardly Yosemite yeah. Sam. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Who can and be? Granny. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Of course, it took care of 20 so, years. So, so, so when all you had to pick from in the female human variety was Granny. <laughs> He was only there to say, I hate Tweety Bird. Yeah. Raise your hand if you want to kill Tweety Bird. <laughs> I hate Tweety Bird. Poor little Tweety. I hate Tweety oh, Bird. His big, old, his big old bullum head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a big old bullum head, that's true. That Tweety Bird just never got out of, what, about one or two years old? Yeah. It's amazing. Tweety's my name, but I don't know my age. <laughs> I just wanted to hurt that bird. <laughs> Here's a fun picture of Elmer Fudd getting taken in by Bugs Bunny. <laughs> can we get that job? I don't know if he can. Can, can we can get a zoom in Whoa. there? <laughs> well, there it is, folks. It's there. Ooh, there it is. Hey. Ooh. And it's all over the place. Let's see. Uh, and, uh, there we oh, go. Okay. I'm, I'm on there, there's, page there's Elmer. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> there we Technology, go. Technology, wonderful. Woo, I would just love a duck dinner. Then <laughs> <laughs> he promptly goes over and shoots Daffy again. Again. Isn't that amazing? They get shot and shot and shot again. And yet they come back for more. Yes. Okay, you remember like Things when they decided sometime in, the, in our childhood dark. anyway, where pretty they decided dark. that we shouldn't be watching these cartoons because dangerous. we're going to do those kind of things. Oh, yeah. Right! You see lots of kids jumping off cliffs. Right! <laughs> oh yeah, I can jump off cliffs. Wile E. Coyote does it, does and he gets right back up and chases so around instead, under again. Here, here, watch, this, watch these nice pacifist things like G.I. Joe. Here you go. Well, no, then they, they, they made the, then they started teaming up the, uh, the, they like, like teamed up Daffy Duck with Speedy Gonzales and did these weak little shows. Oh yeah. These, Ooh, the like, ones, water. The ones in the 70s. Oh my. Yeah, sad. These were bad. Sad, and just... No story right. and just, just no violence. <laughs> there you go, and there's the main thing. Yeah, just but but whoever whatever made him think. I probably watched a million hours of cartoons. Yes. I never hit anybody over the head with a hammer. You never dropped an anvil I on anybody. I never dropped an anvil on or anybody. Or a safe. Or a safe. Or a safe. Or a piano. <laughs> Oh, I never even tried to fly off a cliff. No. With big not, Batman not type once, wings. Not once. I never did these things. But no, it I, wasn't I might have tried that one once. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, I think we all tried jumping off of something with something, but we knew that if we fell, we weren't going to get back up. <laughs> right, exactly. At least we fell from a far distance. Yes, right. I mean, if we jumped off the roof, we knew we were going to get hurt. Why didn't it, you know, it was like, why not give kids credit for having oh, yeah. oh yeah, Well, you, you got know it. You got that this. if you shoot somebody, they're not going to pick their feathers up later. Right. <laughs> I always keep Be my, my feathers numbered for uh, just, just such, such an, an emergency. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, they look at things like uh, like the, 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 what was it, Art Linkletter's son that took a dive out the window. It was his daughter, but she was on okay. LSD. Well, see, that's the thing, you know, they say, ooh, But well. the drugs had nothing to do with it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, man, they just figured we were stupid little yeah. kids, and we were going to go jumping out windows. Too many cartoons. Yeah. Oh, they're watching those darn Warner Brothers cartoons, do teaching them how to be violent. Do you think there would be, be more violent. people our age if we hadn't watched those cartoons? <laughs> I doubt it. Uh, no, so they, like, I don't watered think so. them down really severe and took away. And I, I think there wasn't even a play where you didn't see Rosie on a there was. And yeah. Wile E. Coyote and Roadrun is probably the funniest. Well, I mean, well, then you get in, then you get into the ones that you know, uh, the, who I consider to be the uh, the forgotten ones almost. <laughs> They're the ones that are kind of like in the background. You usually see them at the beginning of the like the Saturday morning cartoon with the big lineup, the big lineup of everybody in their tuxes. <laughs> but. Yeah, right there. <laughs> well, it's not, they're not in their tuxes, but, but that's the basic idea. And, but the ones that are like forget, like Foghorn Leghorn, mm -hmm. who I really consider, you know. Peppy Le Pew. Yeah, well, see, Peppy really gets a lot of, I think he gets a lot more mileage than, than some of them. Yeah. I, th I, think, I think Speedy Gonzalez gets way too much exposure, personally, because I think that's like a one joke kind of deal. He's a mouse I'm and I'm he's fast. High. <laughs> wow. This a, it's a universe of, of comedic uh, properties you can you can uh, ex extract from that. A fast mouse. Hey, Jose. <laughs> you're going to catch the fast mouse. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and then, 
I'd love it. <laughs> Plus the fact that you've got this incredibly enormous uh, Mexican stereotype in the middle of this. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's, that's, that's <laughs> real. I was no always amazed that, that you had no like Mexican uh, groups like picketing. Well, no, they did change. They did change Speedy when he started off. He had like the gold tooth and he had right. the hair slick. Yeah. Down. And then when you saw him again, he had the big sombrero. And he used to talk about you like my sister. <laughs> that went on a whole lot. It was like usually Speedy was going going after the sister. It was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, well, Speedy will come. He liked my sister. <laughs> Yeah, I can see why she I was She liked him, too, yeah. They... But they, like, teamed him up with Daffy Duck later in the 70s and did his little... Yes. They, like, like, Daffy Duck and Speedy Guns are so much in common. Yes. It's just... <laughs> yeah, well, we've well, both been see... pushed aside by the rabbit. Let's yes. just show her. <laughs> so often you see ducks in Mexico. It's... <laughs> well, it was... They got the Speedy Gonzalez Roadrunner against uh, Sylvester and Wile E. Coyote one, too. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. that, was, that was, like, a big waste of... It's like, what? Well, the Coyote was supposed to teach Sylvester how to order from Acme so he could catch yes. the bird like, yeah, exactly. like Wiley was so exactly. successful. Like, <laughs> See, that's another Wiley. bird I wanted to kill. Super <laughs> genius. Well, that's when he was going after those bears. They one of the few times they actually spoke. Yes, <laughs> only spoken a few of them. Yeah. And that was, that was the uh, infamous Bugs Bunny uh, Wiley Coyote meeting. Yeah, my address myself. My name is Mud. <laughs> <laughs> and Mud spelled backwards is it's dumb. dumb. <laughs> And you've got a uh, well. Well, the coyote lost his voice when he started chasing. Well, it was kind of a psychological trauma, you know. It's like this is his natural. Where did he get all the money when he stuck in that? Well, maybe Acme had a, like <laughs> a, a lot of good investment. Bodacious credit plan or something. <laughs> <laughs> It's like you, you're on these cartoons, you can, you, 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 you'll pay for them eventually. After a while, he's probably expecting, like, ticker tape parades when he finally does catch the Roadrunner. Yeah. You know, so he's figuring he can get, like, lucrative, lucrative commercial endorsements at that point. <laughs> or at least they're expecting to. Yeah. Right, so, so Acme's like, we'll keep Roadrunner. giving you a little bit more credit line on there. Uh, so what do you want again? Those, uh, those, uh, super leg vitamins? Mm, that <laughs> Uh, my favorite, my favorite one of all the all the uh, Roadrunner ones, the uh, Roadrunner Coyote things, is the one where he gets the big steel ball and it hides inside yes. and rolls, rolls down the thing yes. and it shoots back across yes. and it just goes through all the things and it ends up right back at the same point and he's, he's just sitting there on the end and it starts up again <laughs> and the ball is all crinkled and crumpled up. And he gets out and he just... Didn't you want to see him catch the road? Oh, of course! Catch the road. Everybody wanted to see him catch the road. No, no, no. wait a minute. Some, I wanted to see some violence in this. <laughs> Well, it's violence, it's violence too much without attitude. blood. Because yeah. I always, I always thought, come on now, he's eating the, he's eating the bird seed with the little pellets in there. That magnet will catch him. That magnet, yeah. <laughs> but no. And no, the magnet's powerful enough to pick up stuff from large cities. <laughs> like, it'll pick up a big freight train. But it doesn't pick up the Roadrunner. <laughs> What's the deal here? <laughs> Magnets never seem to work. And the one where he did take the super leg pills, where he can run as yes. fast as a road, and he ends up running past, past him. him. Yeah. Because yeah. the road runner stops or trips him or something, and he can't stop, so he runs into the big, the big semi truck. And there's the Acme grease. He always yeah. hides in the grease and runs into the <laughs> semi truck. Or he gets out there, he gets the grease. He's on the railroad tracks. He can't stop. He runs into the freight train that's going by, and the road runner sitting on the back. Meet me. Yeah. That road runner, I yeah. just love that. Yeah, <laughs> road runner. And then there's a, one another a, a, um, one that's kind of off of the off the characters altogether. The uh, the cart the uh, animal characters. The one with um, Mr. Wilbur and Yob. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah. The, oh the, yeah. The, uh, the Martian baby boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brothers goes into science fiction yeah. with that one. Yeah, the Yob one and the frog one. Yeah, yeah, the frog one's fun. Where the, the guy, guy, with the frog. The guy finds the, the frog yeah. and he opens up the box. <laughs> Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my heart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like the little hat, the little kid. <laughs> and he takes the frog and he goes <laughs> running in and takes it to the, to the talent agent. And the frog just sits there. And it's like a frog. Yeah, that, that's, that's, that's a great And of course, that's a wonderful a cylindrical story because at the very end, he goes back to the same, to the new building that's being built. You know, and, and he slips it into the new cornerstone. And then it's like, 
2055, and a guy with this disintegrator ray is taking out the building, this new you know, demolition worker, and he finds a frog, and he does the same thing. <laughs> this frog is just a... Uh, yeah, frog lives forever. The frog that hibernates in, in the box. Is, yeah. <laughs> he's like Fluffy in yeah. the freak show, you know? For real. He just stays in that box, opens up the box, it's still alive! Yeah. It's like Twinkies! Yeah. <laughs> it's still alive! They ate a lot of Twinkies. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, and then there's, um, oh, let's see. Uh, one of my favorite Bugs Bunny ones is the one about the, um, where he ends up in, in, in Sherwood Forest. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sirloin. Sirloin of beef. <laughs> Cirrhosis of liver. <laughs> That's man, LJ. LJ. <laughs> That's, that's just one of my favorites. That's, yeah, that's a pretty Sorrowful Nottingham, in gratitude for your faithful souls, <laughs> I shall knight thee. <laughs> and along the same lines, the, the when Daffy Duck would be the Scarlet Pumper, Pumpernickel. Yeah. <laughs> and it was kind of like a takeoff on the Errol Flynn um, well, hero well, well, movie. Well, Daffy got to do a lot of takeoffs because he got to do. <laughs> On the 24th and a half century! And it was against the Martian. <laughs> oh, the little Ma Martin the Martian! The little that, Martian with his, really with his dog. You are making me very angry. Very angry. angry. <laughs> oh, there Taz. he is. Oh, yeah. Taz, man, we're, being, we're, we're being reminded. <laughs> A very, a very forgotten. <laughs> like, like, remember when Bugs like put the steel trap in his mouth and did Lady Tag? Yeah. <laughs> Bugs is always, <laughs> always has the right thing. Everybody, yeah. master of disguise, man. Yeah. He's like, incredible. Like Toma or Beretta. <laughs> Bugs, Bugs Beretta. <laughs> he should have been a detective. <laughs> he was one time. Well, a couple times. Yeah, they. Uh, yeah, they after, after, after he, after he. Um, he fouled up, um, who was it, the little, the little short guy and the great big guy and, yeah. in the house way up on the yeah. hill there. <laughs> Bug Bunny, private eyeball. <laughs> but, okay, and then another, like, um, single episode when, where Bugs finds himself with the hillbillies, which I think is, like, the classic Bugs Bunny square dance. Oh, yeah, the square dance. Yeah, one. over hill, <laughs> over dale. <laughs> The hillbillies never pick up that it's bugs, I guess, or they're just so dedicated to That's the square, square dance, dance, the That's art right. of square dancing. That's right. That oh, the square dance was the thing. Just beat each other. Everybody all the promenade. Of course, that's another one where bugs does drag and, yeah. <laughs> and they fall for it. Yeah. Everybody. Well, that's all I can get them to start doing the square dance. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Almost. bugs, come on. <laughs> yeah. Although my my personal favorite is uh, what's opera doc. This is my this is my personal all-time favorite. This is okay. not this is not the uh, Barbara Seville parody. This is the huge Wagner parody mm -hmm. with uh, Elmer as the uh, as the god of light. It's Thor, or is he Odin or something? That's Thor. Thor. Yeah, <laughs> it's this huge. You know, it's this huge opera sets and uh, and uh, Bugs is like slamming him all all over the place. You know, just like drinking him here, drinking him there. At one point, yeah, here we go. Yeah, and and. <laughs> I don't know if you can pick it, that it, up or uh, not there. It's uh, it, near the end. He, uh, in, in this is, I think this only happens once. This only happens once in the entire history of the Warner Brothers cartoons that Elmer actually wins. <laughs> because <laughs> Elmer, Elmer finally calls up light, lightning and thunder and smog and <laughs> it finally, and uh, lightning hits uh, Bugs and falls down and, uh, and Elmer, grief stricken, takes Bugs up to Valhalla. And then at the last second, Bugs looks up and says, "What do you expect? From, what do you expect from opera? A happy <laughs> ending? Happy ending? Yeah. <laughs> How many? Um, it's like uh, when I got older and actually heard classical music, and my son did this too. He thought it was cartoon music. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it was written for an opera. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> No, oh, Mom, they wrote this for cartoons. <laughs> and, and one thing I thought was, was really interesting was um, I just recently saw Fantasia. And this is the first time I made this connection was um, in, one of the, in one of the cartoons, I'm trying to remember the one, with the, um, oh, with the, uh, the tenor at the Hollywood Bowl type thing mm -hmm. where, where uh, Bugs comes up and uh, masquerades as the conductor. And they're all going, Leopold, 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 Leopold. 
Leopold Stravinsky was the conductor of Fantasia. Fantasia. Okay. <laughs> That's why they're all saying Leopold. <laughs> he has that costume yeah. and he leaves his hand yeah. up there. He takes his glove out. Dun, 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 dun. And, and the whole bowl place. falls apart. <laughs> <laughs> well, that bunch was great for doing that, holding out something so he could do something. Yeah. <laughs> He's like when he's got the he's got the the sheriff of Nottingham sitting there nodding back and forth. He pulls out this big oven. Yeah. And he starts baking up a cake. <laughs> Real quick, he goes through the whole thing. He bakes up the cake just so he can have it there so the sheriff can fall in it. Yeah. Well, he did a lot of that. One of my favorites was in one of the uh, winter ones where they're uh, uh, where this guy's chasing him and. He gets a bucket of water from nowhere and he says, I saw this in a toothpaste, toothpaste ad once. He throws the water in it and it instantly forms into ice and the guy hits and he's like, ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorites. Yeah. Well, I always like Peppy. Well, you just passed him up. Oh, Peppy? Peppy. Mm -hmm. Peppy. Mm -hmm. Again, it's corny. It's corny as can be because it's always a black Ooh. cat falling into some paint. Oh, the amount. Oh, the Dijon. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderfully bad French. <laughs> I shoot you with the ek ek of, of love. love. <laughs> <laughs> My little passion flower. Mm -hmm. I see spice up your love life. That's Talk right. Like Peppy Le Pew. <laughs> no, we had Get um, you the babes every time. <laughs> now, now, some of these saw. Hello, baby. <laughs> some of you saw in the 40s that you don't, that you didn't see later was so much parody of current uh, radio stars. And, uh, uh, and movie stars. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. well, a lot of the early ones are just. That. Yeah, it's true. We haven't caught Tiny Toon. Yeah. Yet. Now we want to. Before we get out of here, we have we have to say something about Tiny Toon Adventures. There's a new show. Like, I don't know. It's a lot hipper it, than. It can't, than uh, I don't know if we can if we can give it an official plug because that would be in a commercial for it. But but. Fun. You didn't hear it from us, but watch it. <laughs> okay. It's, fun. it's, it's, fun. it's good. It it sounds dumb. It sounds like it sounds like. Sounds like Warner Brothers babies, but it isn't. <laughs> it's, it's it's a lot more it's slick great. and polished. And it's hip. great. <laughs> this is this is the show it's you. It's family if, entertainment. <laughs> if, if you're into Warner Brothers, you have to watch Tiny Toon Adventures, and yeah. that's enough enough said. Anyways, do we have anything else here? Uh, uh, more, more, more what's opera, Doc? Oh, we didn't mention Yosemite Sam. Oh, Yosemite Sam. Sam. Famous line in Roger Rabbit, my biscuits are burning. I hate that forever. <laughs> Yosemite Sam, the man who can throw an entire party in an oven. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, Yosemite Sam, what a guy. What was he? He was a cowboy, a pirate. He was a he was a knight. He was a bad knight. <laughs> Just any ne'er do well. Yeah, basically. He was a bad guy. Yeah. Oh, and I see you've got um the one little fella, the daydreamer. Yeah. Um, Ralph. Ralphie, yeah. He was Ralphie. Ralphie. Ralph. This is this daydreamer. is this he is one of the, a this, one time. Yeah, this is one of the early Chuck Jones ones. I think it's, this is. I it, it, it seems like a lot of it. a lot of the Chuck Jones. He did the one. He did the frog. He did. He did. Uh, yog. Yeah. Yob. 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 Boy backwards. Yob. Yeah, that's right. Uh, he did. Oh, no, Yob is boy the... backwards. <laughs> so, <laughs> but you didn't hear it from me. You didn't hear it from me. Up. Oh, is that one? No. Over. Over the other way. Up oh, the other way. Ah, there. Right there. Up there. In the corner. Ah, there. Ah, there. Ah, there. Ah, there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we made it out just uh, in time. Anyways. <laughs> well, I think we covered almost everyone for more. I think we did. We it's were... our 50th anniversary. Yes, that's right. Said we want to, uh, I think it's Bugs' 50th anniversary. Yeah, it's Bugs' 50th anniversary. Yeah, I think they've been around for even longer. Because they were back in the 30s. Or actually, 20s even. Anyways, they've been around for a while. Anyways, <laughs> we, well, we were going to go on to other uh, things, but we'll do it another show. What the heck? Anyways, um, uh, I I think we're about to be thrown out of here. So we'll see you next time. And what are we doing next time? Um, well, we might do some more cartoons. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Are ready for a holiday show? It's coming up, I think. Yeah, next Something. week may be, our, may be our big holiday show. So for all of us here at Bass Wasteland, we'll see you next time.